So today's project, uh, we've had a couple tires blow. And this is a mud flap hanger, similar to that one. And anyways, the, mud, the tires blew and uh, bent up the mud flap hanger and tore the mud flap off. So I guess today's project is to uh, repair this. So my plan is to take the port of power and some heat, push this back into shape, and put it in mud flap on it. We'll see how it goes. So now I've got the port of power in there, just started to push back a little bit and now what I'm gonna do I got a light on here to show you but what I'm gonna try and do is heat this crease or this area where it's really bent and uh, I guess kind of the trick here is to not put too much heat in any one spot but to try and heat up this whole general area you know about uh, yay wide an inch or an inch wide the whole area is bent and try and do it all uniformly as possible and uh, that will eliminate it creasing and bending in places that we don't want it to kind of thing. So take a little patience and uh, just go about it nice and easy. But that's the idea. Try and get it right where it's creased, that general area, and uh, try and heat the whole thing uniformly. So what I'm using is a rosebud on uh, oxyacetylene torches. And again, the idea is to not get too much heat in any one spot. Well, except for a spot like this where the where the bend is real sharp. I'm gonna try and concentrate the heat as much as you can right there. But on a gradual crease like this one, uh, try and spread it out. This is 3 16th thick aluminum, so it is gonna take quite a bit of heat. Uh, it dissipates heat rather quick, so uh, we kind of keep at it. And as I'm doing that, I'll just slowly pump the port of power and keep an eye on it. And if I see it starting to bend somewhere as I don't want to, but maybe that area is too hot, and uh, you know, we'll try and rethink from there. Uh, it's hard to shoot video and do this at the same time, but uh, I need to reset the porter power. I've got it out all the way. It's came a long ways. I'd say you're probably halfway there. Uh, probably I need a little more attention in here. Uh, what I've noticed is while I'm jacking out here, uh, you know, it's really not doing as much as I'd like for it to in here. Not a problem. I'll do what I can do. I might uh, even reset and put the porter power in there for a bit. And then move it back to the outside edge here and uh, continue pushing it back out. Play it by ear. Uh, the other thing is not to get aluminum too hot, it will crack then as well. It's kind of a sweet spot. So what I had done with the porter power was uh, you can kind of feel how much pressure you're putting on by how hard you have to pump on the handle. And uh, I'd lay a little heat on it and you can almost feel the porter power pump easier. So it's kind of the sweet spot when it starts to pump easy and then you want to take the heat away and uh, use the porter power until you feel it start to firm up again and uh, then you can lay more heat to it and repeat. So I've got the outside edge back to where it's about square with the body. Uh, there's a little spot up top here. I'm not going to touch it because it's hot as heck but right here that's bulged out a little. So what I'm going to do is as that cools I'm going to uh, ever so slightly tap that with a hammer. And uh, the person goes gently and take your time. You can almost tap that right back into place. And I may have to put just a little spot of weld on the end here, but that can be done after, no big deal. So here's the progress so far. Looking a lot better. You know, you could really go with that if you wanted. But uh, I'm gonna try and get a little bit better. I don't know if you can tell, along that bottom edge is quite, quite wavy. I'm gonna try and straighten that out some if I can. We'll see. Now normally, like I know, this is a, uh, a job where a lot of guys might say, just cut that off and put a new one on, but, you know, I really haven't been very long doing this, and, uh, you know, it's an older trailer, so, you know, if it's not 100% perfect, it's not going to hurt too much, even though I like to get things as good as I can, but, uh, we'll see how this works out. Worst case, we'll cut her off and put a new one on, but uh, I think this is worth a shot first. So here we are, pretty much about as straight as I think you're going to get it. Uh, there's maybe a few little marks all, uh, you see it's not 100% straight, but 
it's handy. I could tap this out just a little bit right here, which I probably will. Before I put the mud flap on, but I'll just take it and give it a little rub on the top of Scotch Bright. Take any marks off. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty darn close. It's pretty good, really. It should be fine. And uh, just give it a little tack there in the top, and this project will be done. New mud flap on it, and away she goes down the road.